Hey guys, Dan here from CLE Tech, and today we're going to do a quick comparison between the brand new flagships for 2017, the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 and the LG V30. Before we get started, in order to ensure you don't miss my latest videos, be sure to turn on notifications for my channel, and if you're new to my channel, I hope you decide to hit that subscribe button too. Of course, starting off with the design of each phone, you will notice that both of these flagships have gone with the glass and aluminum body design. Both phones sport some sleek curves, and both phones have greatly reduced the bezels on the front of each device, paving the way for larger displays and a smaller form factor. Well, kind of. LG did a much better job at fitting a 6-inch screen in a smaller body, and while both phones have the new 18x9 aspect ratio, the Note 8 is much taller. To be fair, the display on the Note 8 is larger than that of the V30, but it's not really by much. Both phones are housing fingerprint sensors located on the back of the device, but one does a much better job at placement. Now I would like to be clear that although I do not prefer the sensor being on the back, I do not mind the sensor being on a back of a phone. What I do mind is that Samsung did place the fingerprint sensor in an awkward spot in the top right of the phone. I hated this on the S8 and S8 Plus, and I'm still not a fan of this location on the Note 8. LG went with a much more solid choice and placed the sensor right underneath the dual cameras, right smack dab in the middle. It might not be as aesthetically pleasing as the Note 8, but it's far more functional. Finally, the last difference in the design is that the Note 8 has an extra button on the side of the phone that's used to launch their voice assistant, Bixby. And the bottom of the phone is also home to the S Pen. I will say that although I do not use the S Pen as much as some might use theirs, I do give the upper hand to Samsung as this feature is kind of a bonus feature and also a really nice thing to have. Is it worth hundreds of dollars more? Well, absolutely not, but that's just me. Side note, both displays are beautiful. LG has gone with an OLED display this time around with the V30, and it's so much better than their last few flagship displays. I still have to give the Note 8 the upper hand here though, because the display is just still super vibrant and awesome. Side note number two, LG does include a Hi-Fi Quad DAC in the V30 with 32-bit playback for immersive audio that truly sounds amazing. This could obviously sway your decision one way or another if you're an audiophile. In terms of specs, both phones are running the latest and greatest with a few extra gigabytes of RAM here and there going to the Note 8. There really isn't that much of a difference here, but I will say that the V30 is still yet to slow down or lag at all since it's become my daily driver. After a few days of testing the S8 Plus, my phone became a little sluggish and overworked. Now I've yet to experience that difference with the Note 8, but be sure to follow me on Twitter at CLETech1 as I will be giving updates regarding this experience over there. Both phones run a skinned version of Android, either 7.1.1 or 7.1.2 respectively. Both Samsung and LG used to skin their phones heavily in years past, and I absolutely hated it. It made me into a stock Android purist for quite a while. Then Samsung laid off the bloatware a little bit and the cartoonish designs when they released the S6, and suddenly their launcher and UI just keeps getting better and better with every flagship release. So as I mentioned earlier, however, it's still pretty bogged down at times, and it does cause the phone to lag, whereas the V30 has been pretty rock solid so far. LG's UI was also a culprit for getting too involved with their version of Android, and they've also toned things down a little bit. Both launchers are usable, but I still prefer the look of Nova Launcher. I do admit that some features that these phones offer are kind of nice, and there are just some things that you can't find on stock Android phones. There really isn't a clear winner here in my opinion, but since the V30 has been solid with minimal to no lag, I'm going to crown them the winner, but it is super objective. Now both cameras are really good, and both devices have dual cameras, but I'm going to make a separate camera comparison video in the weeks to come, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that video. Honestly, both of these devices are almost evenly matched, and it's really going to come down to price and preference. If you absolutely need that S Pen, then it's going to be a no-brainer, you should go with the Note 8. If you want something that's still a heavy hitter and a large phone, but still able to hold it comfortably in one hand, then I recommend the V30. I do think, however, you won't be disappointed with whatever phone you decide to go with. If I had to give you my answer on what phone I would personally choose, I'd probably have to go with the V30 right now, but again, I still need more time with the Note 8 to be 100% sure. Thanks for watching guys, if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button, and if you want to see any of these phones compared against other flagships, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.